you guys let me know if you would like to see more vlogs that's what i used to do on my channel i don't know why i did this but that's what i did on my channel when i first started if you want to see more vlogs let me know i mean if you would be interested in that let me know somehow and i will start doing that more but i just have a little reminder something that's been on my spirit um and really it's just understanding that almost forgot it a lot of times i think we forget how good people are at pretending how easy it is or how consumed people are with having this um persona and facade as if everything is just perfectly fine they ha they're obsessed with making sure not obsessed but it's in the forefront of their mind to really it, it, they're being inauthentic and they're just so focused on making sure that everyone around them thinks that they are just have it all together which no one does but that they have it all together that everything is just going so perfectly fine and it it's very inauthentic and we have to remember that everybody has something that they're not unhappy with everyone has something they're not unhappy with and I think when I think about the things I'm not unhappy with in my life, I still choose to embrace those things. I choose to embrace the things I'm not happy about. And that has been very liberating. I And when I say unhappy, it could be things out of my... Out, most, most of the time, it is things outside of my control. Certain relationships, external relationships, physical features. Yeah, I'm not happy with it, but I'm grateful for life. I'm happy about my life. I'm happy that I have my life. And don't be fooled don't people love to just really front and flex you know i have been off of instagram for i think three or four weeks now maybe three I, i'm not really counting the days i don't really remember exactly when i just deleted the app but i've since then i've just had so much time to just think and reflect and i sometimes my mind will kind of think back to posting on stories and watching people watch my story and watching people like my posts and People are just, when we post things, you have to think, where does that really come from? And it comes from this, this idea of trying to show everyone that our lives are fine, that we have it all together. Most of the time, most of the time, it's not coming from a genuine, authentic place of wanting to create memories and really share your life, share your world. Just remember, whatever you see on social media, whatever you see in the real world, really, really take everything with a grain of salt. And even when, whatever people tell you, because I know I've been in, there's been times where I've shared parts of my life that other people told them stories about things that I've been through and I leave so much stuff out because we I don't know we don't want to we want to show everyone that we don't really ever want to be honest about what it is we're really going through so remember that when people tell you things when you see things it's not the full story that's just what they want you to know so with that in mind it just really reminded me about focusing more on myself and not so much on what other people are doing and trying to ask myself with everything that I do does this make you happy and is this pleasing to God those are the two things that I really ask myself when it comes to my life that's how I try to live my life making sure I'm pleasing myself and pleasing God making sure it's not coming from a place of trying to please other people or and not even pleasing myself but making sure that it's truly making me happy just remember that and I think I had a problem also with putting people on a pedestal too much because I would believe how they would present themselves as, oh, they have it all together. Oh, they must be perfect. Oh, they must not, you know, have any issues with their, with their lives, you know, with their friendships, with their relationships, with their career, everything must just be perfect. And I pedestalized them in my mind. And I got to remember not to do that. I got to remember everybody is a human, just like you. Everybody has something they're not happy about, just like you. And it's okay to look up to people. It's okay to admire people, but do that from afar just don't forget that they're still a human being. They still have issues just like you. None of us are exempt. None of us are exempt from that. I have mentioned that before. None of us are exempt from going through the ups and downs of life. None of us are exempt from going through the ups and downs of life. Life has a way of taking its toll on all of us. And you may be in a season where life is getting you down and you may look at someone else and think that life must not begin them down so much based on what they're showing you, based on what they're, they're telling you. We don't know that. And it's really about all about your mindset anyway. Because you look at somebody and you may think life must be really getting them down. But on the inside, they may feel amazing. They may feel blessed. They may 
feel just happy to be alive. So it's really all about your perception anyway and your mindset. So, and I have been focusing on, you know, what can I control? Things are gonna, things are gonna happen in life. But it's all about how I decide to look at it. And I've been really looking at these affirmations every day on my phone. Let's see, the one today says, I am thankful for the challenges I face that reveal my strength and resilience. And I just love that perspective. And I was listening to a podcast yesterday and the, an affirmation that they were mentioning was saying, I am a winner. I am on a winning streak. And I wrote that on my mirror. I am on a winning streak. If you're on a winning streak, how do you show up? How does a winner show up in life? How does a winner react to things that happen in their life that they don't think is working in their favor at that time? Would they be able to let that get them down? No, they wouldn't let that get to them. They wouldn't let that get them down. They wouldn't let that deter them or discourage them because they're a winner. They have the mindset of a winner. And I just, I love that. And that's just my reminder to you today. Take everything really with a grain of salt. I've said it before. Life takes its toll on everyone. No one has it all together. Nobody has a perfect life. Even if you look at someone and you think they have it all, you think they have everything that you would want, there's things that go on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Stop. So so don't even, like I said, it's okay to admire from afar, but don't admire to have a life, life like someone. Admire that to have the life that God wants for you and get in touch with him and get in touch with yourself. And get in touch and be excited about what is going to be revealed from God in your life to show you your path. Bye, guys.